guys um today is a tutorial on how to do basic ai physics so what i mean is when i shoot the zombie after a few shots it will die i've set up a basic health system and everything i'll try and make it as short as possible and let me just show you what i mean all right so i have a gun uh a a w c something and then if I shoot at it, look, it it just dies. The physics and all. I will show. You, I'll try to show this as fast as possible. Okay. By the way, if you want more tutorials, if you want the tutorials and the animations and stuff I'm using, yeah, I'll show you. You just give a like. Okay. So, this is the, this is basically what, this is basically what's, this is basically the code. So, you also need a projectile system, let me show you what I mean. Uh, bullet. Yeah, something like this to reference it in the actual code. When, once you've done that, you can just follow along. Oh. Alright. First things first. Set your health. And get then you do float minus float set the value to 0 0.1 then you drag this all right now you want a branch check if this has been done now Oh, let me just move this up. Now you do less than or equal to this is to check whether the health is below zero. And you get your health, reference it, set it, and you drag it to the top. Alright, now you've done that. This is the part where we reference the projectile, also known as your bullet. Alright, so, event, actor, begin, overlap, just get that in. Hmm. Well, let me just delete this. Purposes. Uh, just for tutorial purposes. Okay. All right. Reference your projectile. Uh, mine to called projectile underscore base. Let me just show you what I mean by projectile. If you don't know what I mean. Alright. If you don't know how to make this, you just. Okay. If you don't know how to make it, spawn. You go into blueprints. Actor. Name this anything. Get a static mesh. Just get your, um, whatever your bullet is. Then, you spawn in what is it called? 
Oh, I forgot. <laughs> ah, projectile movement. So you're going to add component. Then when you're in projectile mo movement, you set the initial speed to whatever you want. The higher value, the faster it'll go. Set these both to the same. Then the gravity scale, set it to something like 0 0.0001. So, because you don't want that much bullet drop. Okay, once you've done that, just close it. I've already got one, so I'll just delete this one. Right, so let's go back. Okay, so when you've referenced it, you just go do cast to whatever. Okay. So you connect this up to your health. Once you've done that, once you've done that, um, let's see. Ah, okay. So you drag from your branch from true disable movement. Oh no. Alright. The reason why we're not using disable input because this isn't a player, this is an AI. Okay. So set collision enabled. Hmm. Oh, how stupid of me. You don't delete the mesh. Connect it to both of these. My bad. drag it over okay so you set and instead of in on new type collision enabled query and physics okay mm. now you want to get this Make sure it's blend weight, not simulate physics, because trust me, you'll get many errors. Okay, so once you're sure you got simulate physics, I mean blend weight, connect up to the mesh, drag it up here, set physics blend weight to 1. and. I mean, if you want, if you just want it like this, so say if you're shooting a projectile, you want to do this. I did lay it off any amount you want. 10 seconds fine, and then. Destroy actor. Okay, that's basically it. Let me see if I've missed anything. Nope, seems to be all good. Oh, and um, connect these. Oh, almost forgot.
actually oh yes 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 okay let's see if this works all right so let's see if it works all right great it works so can leave a like please subscribe if you want to see more tutorials in the future and leave a like and subscribe comment and plus if you want to see a tutorial on these animations and the weapon firing system leave a comment i hope you enjoy have a good night or day